From the beginning, Shepherd's Heart has been all about the transformation of island communities here in the Bavuma Islands of Lake Victoria. But the method that we've desired to go about that transformation is not us Americans doing the transformation, but empowering indigenous leaders to do the transformation in their own communities. And lately we've been super excited to see some changes in Shepherd's Heart as we've actually turned over some of the ministries of SHIM into the hands of local indigenous leaders. Uh, so we've been really excited to hand over these ministries to indigenous leaders to run the ministries as we do less and less and they do more and more. Katonga Village is right next to us. And we, we've spent so much time trying to help them to understand the things that they're doing that are harming them as a community. Things like the lack of sanitation, pooping everywhere, or defiling the young girls, not allowing their children to go to school. But even as much as we've tried to talk, nothing really changed them until a couple years ago when Oliva, who was the women's leader, got saved. After her salvation, she faced a number of real trials and the community refused to help her because they felt that the demons were actually against her. And because she stood strong through those trials, eventually we saw one and then two and then 10 and now 40 some people in that village come to Christ. And as they have come to Christ, the village itself has changed. And I prayed for God to help me to memorize the books of the Bible so I could get my own Bible. And now God has helped me. So we thank Shim very much for helping us to get dairy goats. So now I'm drinking goat's milk together with my children. Here in our camp, we gathered money together and we built our own toilet. Another thing God has done in the camp here is that children are studying. In the past, the children didn't go to school, but now children are going to school and studying. So we thank God for bringing our sister Kiki to build for us the secondary school, because now children are going to primary school with the hope that they will soon enter into secondary. And even the children are beginning to understand God. Now you can walk in the village without watching your step for fear of stepping in poop. People are putting up dish racks so that they have a clean place for their dishes and making bathing houses. Others have earned the right to have a dairy goat and begin to have milk in their families. Uh, we're just excited to see what God has done when He started the work from the inside out. One of my passions here in Uganda has been pastors training program for the pastors and churches here on the islands as I've seen a desperate need for them to understand the Word of God and especially how to apply it in their lives. One example of that is Pastor Waboka Francis from here in our village. A few weeks ago he shared a testimony of how he was applying the teaching from our pastors training school into his life when he shared that uh, God had convicted him that he should no longer use illegal methods in fishing, that he was setting a bad example for the rest of the people in the community. So instead of fishing illegally, Pastor Waboka started a shop where he could buy and sell goods, and he did that with money from the Buvuma Island Savings and Credit Association that we helped sponsor. One of our Ugandan partners is running that program. And many people would come to the shop to buy things and he'd be able to share the gospel with people. And people are getting saved and growing in their faith because of his new business. When he was elected as chairman of one of the local farmers groups, he was told that he needed to charge the people something so he could put some money in his pocket. But he said, no, I will not. I have to be faithful. And that's been a major emphasis of our teaching and pastor's training is to, to live like Jesus wants you to live so that people can follow your example. When Shim was starting, uh, they started with a vision of empowering local leaders. It so happened that they started with me and they said, we want to empower you, work in your own community. I'm a best leader on Shim Health Center here in Namiti. Before this health center came, we lost a lot of lives. But when Shim came in, the health center has completely helped busy four islands around. I am also a director for water and sanitation and uh, we have been teaching around all the islands 
and giving them water systems. As we were starting, we knew we are extending the love of Jesus. Through that, we were opening up a door for evangelism. So we make crusades in every beach where we have already sensitized with water and sanitation, and people are now yearning to know Jesus. And Shima has helped on the side of education. Most of the parents decide they don't have enough money to pay for their children. Children finish primary level and they are wasted. If we shall ever have transformation, we have to target this younger generation. We make sure they are educated and they are the ones who will help us to continue transforming. We have seen tremendous transformation um, in the island since the school started. The enrollment at school has improved from about 30 students to 245. Enrollment at primary schools have also increased because there is a hope that Lingra Living Hope would be their destination for secondary school. We are so grateful that we find our own students that we taught here coming back to teach and they really act as a role models. Previously they were you no know, fishermen and then coming to school, go transformed, went through formal education and then they are now teachers, people who can actually think outside the lake and to me that is the best thing that has happened to the island. Ichan Martin came to the island as a primary school kid. His family was killed by Kony's rebels. So he entered Lingira Living Hope Secondary School, finished in Division One, was able to go on through sponsorship program and complete his teacher's training. He is now one of our secondary school teachers in mathematics and physics. I'm actually on the island uh, actually to be an example so that we can make sure that we transform other students as well. You see them very interested, very motivated, because they can look at each other. They can look at me. If I was able to go and succeed and I'm back, all of them, they are up to that. I came here and I saw that for sure people were broken, but they were still beautiful. And that's why we are so excited to see God transform the communities using children, using leaders. We are so grateful for the many times that you have stood with us and especially supported us through prayers. If you have a chance to come out to the island, I know it will change your life, but it also changes and impacts the life of those that you touch here. Thank you for being a part of these transforming stories. Please continue to pray for us and support us financially. And for sure, come visit us here on the islands. <laughs>